interesting article on CNN politics written by Jeremy Diamond, Sarah Westwood, and Kevin Liptak. Title, Trump denies Pelosi military aircraft for a war zone trip. First of all, why is the bitch going to the war zone, huh? President Donald Trump said Thursday he was denying House Speaker Nancy Pelosi a military plane for a trip to Afghanistan that was set to begin in the afternoon. A tit-for-tat retaliation that deepens the divide between the leaders and brought the government no closer to reopening. The move, apparently in response to Pelosi's letter a day earlier suggesting to President Trump reschedule his State of the Union address, made for high drama but little substance in the ongoing standoff over border security. As the partial government shutdown stretches nearly a month, the back and forth reflects a West Wing angling for the upper hand in a stalemate with newly powerful Democrats. Pelosi has been scheduled to leave within the hour that Trump's letter was made public, making for the awkward sight of a large blue Air Force bus idling outside the Capitol as the implications of the president's missive came into focus. The administration worked with Air Force and the Defense Department and basically took away the rights to the plane from the Speaker, one White House official said. The White House released Trump's letter to Pelosi a day after she suggested the president postpone his planned State of the Union address, scheduled for later this month, until the government shutdown is resolved. Due to the shutdown, I am sorry to inform you that your trip to Brussels, Egypt, and Afghanistan has been postponed, Trump wrote Pelosi on Thursday. We will reschedule the seven-day excursion when the shutdown is over. Later, Pelosi's spokesman said the stop in Brussels was mainly to allow the pilot to rest and that Egypt was not on her itinerary. Even though Afghanistan, an active U.S. combat zone, was one of the countries on her planned itinerary, Trump suggested she fly commercially. <laughs> Quote, Obviously, if you would like to make your journey by flying commercially, that would certainly be your prerogative, Trump wrote. The president has the authority to direct the Defense Department to not use military assets to support a congressional delegation to military theaters. That includes air transport and additional security procedures. White House officials, including Acting Chief of Staff Mike Mulvaney, began discussing canceling Pelosi's trip early Thursday morning, according to two people with knowledge of how the daily unfolded. Aides felt caught off guard when Pelosi publicly released her letter calling on Trump to postpone a State of Union address or deliver it in writing and felt canceling the military air travel would be an ideal response. There's more for you to read and there's a couple of embedded videos you might want to take a look at. You know, it's just totally crazy that these elected representatives fly all over the world a taxpayer's expense. I mean, it's totally insane. She's not the only one. They all do it. They're all globe trotters, and there's no reason for it. But they do it. Anyway, I'm glad Pelosi can still go if she wants to fly commercially. You know, I think she was in Hawaii last week on vacation. <laughs> They're having a good old time, aren't they? These elected representatives. Take a look at it. Watch the link. This bitch is half senile. Isn't she? <laughs> you might want to repost this in your social media accounts. You might want to pass along to like-minded friends and ask them to do the same. Thanks for listening.